So in the last video, I demonstrated a quick way of adding labels to planar and curved surfaces without having to go through the trouble of viewing your models. If you haven't already seen that video, I strongly urge you to do so. I will leave a link in the description. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add and edit the material properties of this label and at the end I'll discuss some of the limitations of this method. So I'll quickly recap what I did the last time. So over here in the material context menu, I'll change the blend mode from opaque to alpha blend, jump into the edit mode, right click and subdivide, and I'm going to give it about 10 number of cuts. Once I do that, I'm going to add the shrink wrap modifier, grab the eyedropper tool and select our target mesh. Once we get out of edit mode, we can now see that it's being projected. We need to change this to project and check negative. The last time I said you need to uncheck positive, but it really doesn't matter if you have leave it on. I'm going to edit the offset value. Now, if we observe this label, it's got a matte finish to it, and that might not be necessarily what you want. So I'm going to show you how you can edit the material properties of this label. So back to the material context, we are going to want to change the shader from diffuse BSDF to principal BSDF. Now when we do that, we can see that the number five here has actually disappeared. And I'll show you how we can actually solve that. So over here in the node editor, I'm going to plug from the image texture, I'm going to plug the color into the base color of the principal BSDF. And when we do that, we can now see that our number has reappeared. I'm going to get rid of that faceted look by adding a subdivision modifier and shading smooth. And after that, we can play around with the material properties. I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to bump up our roughness. And I'm going to bring down a specular. And if we look at this, this looks a lot better than the matte finish that we had initially. We can also make it metallic or not. And lastly, we can add some surface imperfections to our label as well. So I'm just going to add a procedural texture that I appended early on. And I'm going to plug that into our roughness. And now you can see that in effect. So you can pretty much do whatever you see fit. Now let's address some of the limitations of this method. Say if we wanted to add specific details like a scratch or a tear going through the label or decal, we'd have to fake that in Photoshop before bringing the image into Blender. So this method doesn't give us the ability to have precise control. We can also assign multiple materials to our labels. So as you can see here, I've added a metal material to the number 5 on our label here. And let me show you how I did that. So if we jump into edit mode, you can see that I've used the knife tool to trace over the number five as that was the area I wanted to separate out in order to add a different material. Now, this can be done for labels that have simple elements. However, if the label has complex elements within it, it would be extremely tedious and time consuming to do the same. So I've gone ahead and opened up a new file. So another problem I've encountered with this method is when I try to wrap a label around a model, we end up with this weird result. And I've been tinkering with this for a while and I haven't been able to come up with a solution for this. I've also tried to add a simple deform modifier and let's just move this to the top. Uh, let's change it to bend and let's pick our axis origin. Uh, I'm going to change that to Z and change the angle to 360. And when we do this, we see that it wraps around. Uh, however, if I bring up that offset, we can see that the contents within the label are terribly skewed. So I haven't really been able to figure out how to make this wrap around. So if anybody actually has a solution for this or can figure out how to do this, I'd like to know in the comments below. So I hope this video was informative and thanks for watching.